What's up guys, Mr. Bazy here, and today we're going to be playing The Adventures of Bertram Fiddle. And trust me, that's not the first time I've said this intro, because that was really hard for me to say. But in all serious guys, this game is supposed to be sort of a, a, a comical slash satirical mystery game. So it's supposed to be kind of funny while you're trying to solve a mystery and everything. Um, I've been pretty interested in mysteries lately, so I figured... Why not give it a shot? Looks pretty cool, and uh, I'd like to point out that in the settings, in the very beginning, there was only one quality setting, and it was quite exquisite. <laughs> so, very, very fancy game, I must say. But we're going to get ki uh, kicked off with a new game. Let's check out the story. I'm pretty sure that was an eyeball, guys, just saying. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Whoa, they're creepy. Really creepy, as a matter of fact. Wanted for doing murderings. <gasps> Leading Victorian explorer, Bertram Fiddle. If you can't tell already, it's set in like a London sort of area. Curious stirrings. So this is like a point and click. Trying to figure things out is essentially the... Oh, alarm clock. Pick me. Pygmy? Damn time machine! What the fuck, dude? Oh, he's got a worm I on his face! Can't see a thing! <laughs> can't see a thing! Ah, that's better! What a beautiful day! Only what in the hell is. Wild smattering of pigeons! Is this like a oh, pea bucket? I wouldn't look in there if I were you! That is a pea bucket! <laughs> At least I think it is. Go ahead, Bertrand Fiddle, with your pointy ass feet. Go, go put on your clothes. He definitely is. That's a big ass worm. Does anyone, does anyone disagree with me there? Let me know in the comments if you disagree that that is a big ass worm on his face. Hmm, that's better. <laughs> oh, he's fancy as shit now. Damn, that was a big Ooh, change. I wouldn't look in there if I were you. You don't have to take a piss when you wake up, bro. Right, let's leave. Wait, can we do anything else? No. Okay. It's Piatti Five Thousand. Gavin must have left this rag out when he cleaned the photomographs. I ought to tidy it up. All right. Too bad you don't have a washing machine. Me being chased by a giant man-eating tortoise. I've never been so mildly afraid in all my life. <laughs> what a tedious <laughs> death that would have been. Yeah, for real. That's what I was. That's exactly what I was thinking. Manly steam lift. It makes traversing what? these cumbersome stairs a breeze. So he's an explorer and an adventurer? Or, I mean... Seems to be a little <laughs> stuck. Great job, you broke it. You're too fat. <laughs> okay, well... Don't blame Wait, it on the machine. He should be here to hand me my telegrams. They're right there, bro. I'm done. Gigantic diamond? Sounds legitimate. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Prince Mabuti. <laughs> And, since the death of my dear father, I have come into possession of an incredibly large and valuable diamond. I require your assistance to bring it to London, and I am willing to pay you the sum of 100 pounds in return for your urgent helpings. I await your reply. Your honest, yours honestly, Prince Mabuti. <laughs> Lord Othwipe? news of an adventure. Oh, that is funny. Fiddle, I have an errand for you. Come to my house on Hemlock Street by noon. Lord, Lord Othwipe. Sir, is that you? Have you locked yourself in again, Gavin? Yes. <laughs> I thought that's what he was going to say. Yes, I've locked myself in, like a loser. Is he Good taking morning, a dump? Mr. Fidel. Oh. Ah, All right, then. There you are, Gavin. Where have you been? I was just uh, deflating the Zeppelin, sir. I did not hear you the walk heck? down the stairs. Did you sleep well? Unfortunately not. It was a restless night, embothered by some strange dreams. My mind craves adventure. And without it, I fear I'm going quite mad. It's been two months without the slightest expedition. I'm becoming a little worried. What shall I do if I can't do my adventurings? Do not fear, sir. Mm -hmm. There is an old Peruvian saying. The forest is full of trees. Hmm. Quite... Very strange games. I had a massive clock. <laughs> wow. Okay, you're getting pretty yes. close there, buddy. What do you 
What the fuck? What did I do? Would, I would, sir. You can't do what? <laughs> All right, let's just leave. Awkward moment with here with uh, Mr. Gavin. Is that a big ass uh, egg? Fossilized dinosaur egg. Oh, there you are, Bertram. Is that his wife? No way. Good morning, dear heart. Oh, it's no way. nearly ten o'clock. I hardly call that morning. Haven't you got some adventuring to do? Alas, no. I have been looking, but I just can't find any expeditions worthy of my talents. Well, that's cocky. Well, if you don't find something to adventure soon, I shall require that you find yourself a proper job. It's not <laughs> that easy, my dear. You can't merely go outside and find yourself in a world full of unimaginable creatures. Adventure strikes really? when you least expect it. That as may be, I am accustomed to certain standards, Bertram. Being what a bitch. respectable costs money. Your wow. mother agrees with me. She has mentioned there is a very respectable position at Mr. Dullsworth Soap Company providing telegrammatic advertising. The hours are long and arduous and the work repetitive and <laughs> uninteresting. But you would receive a steady income, Bertram. My, my, is that the, um, I really must be off. Now then. Can you take Foofy to the groomery for me? It's on Groom Street. I, uh, How convenient. Yes, of course, my dear. This is all very tiresome. I'm going to lie down. Tell me. Okay, I thought you were just going to hit the floor. Oh, my God. I hate people like that. <laughs> Bother some creature. Shut up! <laughs> yeah, look at his fucking eyes. <laughs> oh, my God. I just take this statue and maybe hit it. Bothersome <laughs> creature. Bothersome creature. My prized possession. An actual Tyrannosaur arm bone. And we're just gonna give it to the goddamn dog. <laughs> just pick the dog up. Get in here. Basket. Foofy. Foofy. Basket. What's the matter, Foofy? Give the... Oh, right. Keep oh my him quiet god. For a while. <clears throat> it, I'm sure it's a Tyrannosaurus Rex arm bone. Isn't that supposed to be huge? Probably wouldn't even fit in the basket. Come on. Come on, freaking Mr. Fiddle. <laughs> Mr. Fiddle, pick this thing up and let's go. <gasps> what? It's lucky <laughs> I have such spacious pockets. I was gonna say. You got some magical trousers there, friend. Mess fucking let me know where, where you got them. Lovely day for a stroll. Am I actually supposed to move? Oh my god, I, I clicked to move? No way. Why? There's hardly any drizzle at all. Hmm. There is a storm coming. You yeah. feel it with your eye? <laughs> no! <gasps> my fucking what dog! A terrible little man. He never said sorry. What's in the oh, basket? I see. He's bemuddled our bags up. He's got foofy. Shit. Rude man. Excuse me. <laughs> Rude man. man. Rude man! Excuse me, rude man! Oh shit! He's getting away! <laughs> I'm bumping into everybody. Oh no, I'm so sorry, sir. I'm so sorry, sir. I must. I have places to be and people. Oh shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> Get back here, rude man! Rude man! You really fucked my schedule! I was supposed to take Foofy to the groomers! Oh god. This is fucking strange. <laughs> Get your bit. Whoa! Sorry. Why are you moving in the street? Just fucking sit there and talk like a real person. Oh my god. Oh! I'm bossing this out! Oh! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> oh my god, guys. I don't even know what's happening. Wow. Get him, get him, get him, get him! We got him! Oranges. <laughs> Chapter 2, A Visit to the Adventurer's Club. Ouch! Are you okay, sir? What is this? What's this? 
Yeah, for it real. It appears to be a nose. What the fuck? He must have dropped it in his haste to scurry off into the shadows. Are we fucking chasing Mr. Potato Head? What's going on? 